Tip Tut. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tip Tut, and welcome back to Intro to Illustrator. Um, I did a little bit in the absence just so that we can actually get um, some progress made. Uh, I created this sort of camp section here. Um, now, you haven't missed anything. I use exactly the same techniques as we have been using in the previous episodes, but I'll just quickly take you through it. Essentially, I've grouped this entire section um, as one element, and then inside that uh, is all of the separate stuff, okay? So using just the pen tool um, and the circle tool and stuff like that, I created this sleeping character here with um, two pen sections for the pillow, circle for the head, and another one for the blanket. Um, similar sort of thing for the backpack, okay? Similar sort of thing for the rock. And then I just added some shadows in, and I decided to add in the campfire, which again is just a pen tool um, for the fire and pen tool for the rocks. So you really haven't missed anything. Um, I created this grass section with the same technique as we do with the other grass sections. Um, just so that we can actually get onto something a bit intricate and fun this episode. Okay, I'm just going to hide everything that we've done so far. Like so. And we're going to work on this flower because this will combine everything we need to know about the pen tool. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So let's just dive right in. Now the first thing we're going to do is create the stalk. We're gonna use the stalk using uh, the stroke rather than the fill because everything we've done so far has been using the fill. So I'm gonna turn this fill down to nothing, okay? And then I'm gonna come down to uh, the color selection here. So we have uh, the color for our fill. And if you just click the stroke one, it puts it on top. Then when you select from your color palette, a color, you'll notice it puts it in the stroke section. Now if I had fill on the front, um, it would put it in the fill section, okay? Just gonna click none so that it goes back to none there. But um, we wanna have the stroke to the forefront, okay? And we want to choose, um, uh, it probably wants to be green, but we're running low on greens. So I'm gonna use a different color for now and then probably come back to green later. Maybe we'll use, um, yeah, let's use this nice turquoise, that might look good. It could be a magical flower or some kind, okay? And then we're just gonna try and follow this stalk with the stroke tool, okay? So the same thing, pen tool as before clicking and dragging to create the arc that we want, and then we let go. But instead of a path, uh, a fill, we get a path, okay? Now, at the moment, it's only one point thick. You can increase that to where you want, okay? And if you want to as well, you can change the um, caps and the ends and things like that. And you do that under the uh, stroke window, so window and stroke. Um, and you'll notice here that you can control everything. So you can change how the end looks, okay? Uh, I'm probably gonna stick with round. And you can change how the corners, there's no corners here, but if this were to be a square, um, how the corners would join. And you can change uh, how you align the stroke, whether the stroke is to the center or whether it's to the edge of the shape, okay? And if you want to, you can make it a dashed line instead, but we don't want that, okay? Right, so we're just gonna leave that. I'm gonna use then uh, click on this, right click and choose group. It's only one thing at the moment, but that's fine. And we'll just call it flower. Then we'll double click. So we're in isolation mode. Okay. And then we're going to start drawing the leaves. So we'll just dive right in and do that. Uh, excuse me. Making sure that I go away from stroke and back to fill. And I'm just going to choose a um, lighter color for the leaves here. Oops, sorry, I keep clicking on that stroke and uh, <laughs> putting us back onto something that we don't want. Okay, I'm just going to go back to that. Uh, so I'll start here at the top of the leaf. And bring that around like so. Try and do it neatly because I think these are actually going to be on top of the stalk. So there's one leaf. And we'll do the second one, and I think we'll actually do this one below the stalk, which will help. So we'll do it like that. We can join it there. Oops, sorry. We can join it like this. And join. Like so. Okay, now that looks a bit fat, so I'm just going to adjust those handles. Bring it in a touch. Make them shorter so it's less extreme. And then just round out that bottom. Okay. There we are, that looks good to me. And then we'll push it behind the stroke. Okay, perfect. Um, I probably want a uh, center to this to make it look a little bit like a fin, 
Um, is the kind of look I'm going for rather than a, an actual leaf. Because let's make this a, a weird a weird alien flower rather than just a normal one. That way we can get away with using blue. <laughs> um, I need a nice bright colour there. And I need something similar for this one. Okay, again, just clicking and dragging using the pen tool, holding Alt when I've clicked and dragged to create a harsh corner. Okay, nothing new, nothing to worry about. There we go. So we've created now um, the stalk and the leaves. I'm just going to group these so that the um, leaves can act individually. I don't have to worry about those two paths. And we're going to create the bud now. Probably going to do a circle for the center. Maybe let's try bright yellow. That might look good. Something a bit bolder. Yeah. Position it in. And I'm actually probably going to drop this um, point here a bit further in. So I'm going to rotate it so that our points are at a slightly different place. And I'm going to just bring up this bottom point just a touch. And perhaps these ones too. Just that it's not a perfect circle and it sort of suits the perspective that we're going for. Okay. Uh, now I need a flower behind all of this. So I'll probably use the pen tool for that. And I'll just create the inside of these petals. Uh, again, clicking and dragging. Nothing new. Nothing to worry about. Uh, like so. Holding Alt now to move that handle. And we'll choose... Um, perhaps a nice dark blue for the inside of the petal there and we'll push it behind so if we drop down this flower we can see that we have our uh, leaf I'm just going to call that leaf B for back we'll call this one stem uh, this one leaf F for front and this one uh, petal B for back and this one bud for the bud Okay. now um, if we just hide these quickly you can see that the front of this in the sketch comes actually over that. So we need to create a petal front. Um, I'm probably just going to have a bit of a guess at this. Um, doing it like so. Okay. Just follow the original path. Like this. I want a hard point there. So we'll just bring that around. Uh, now here's the thing, um, this shape here is joined up automatically, we haven't finished it so it's just trying to finish it for you, but it's actually obscured what I'm trying to look for. I find in this case the best thing to do is click away somewhere, okay, so you can see what you need to see, and then hover over where you want the next anchor point to be and press Control Z, and then when you click you know that you're going into the right place, okay. So by the time you come to make your shape, you know you're roughly in the right place. Okay, so just need to adjust that point to fit the drawing and adjust that one. Let me bring that down as well. It's looking a bit fat for my liking. Um, not that there's anything against fat flowers. <laughs> okay, let's make that a bit brighter. And we'll do the same for the next petal on this side. Again, we'll hide those two. Probably hide that back one as well. And we'll get going. This one comes all the way out here, quite wide, and then has a bit of a harder corner. Um, and then comes all the way out like this. And in fact, I think I'm going to have it be on top of the other petal. Just connect the two up. And then what I'm going to do is just come to this hard corner here, make it round, but bring these handles way in so that it's still pointy, but not an actual point, if that makes sense. <laughs> uh, bring the rest of those back in. Align this back up properly. Let me bring that handle down. Move this point in so it's more aligned. Let me bring this point in a touch. So as you can see, we're tweaking as we go. Um, so that's not a problem. Uh, and we'll just make that one a bit lighter. There we are. Uh, so the last thing then are these few specks of pollen, which I'm just going to use a circle tool for, making it the same color as the pollen. And then I'm going to come in nice and close and just edit these individual points so they're not perfect circles because it makes them look a bit unnatural. Okay, there's one piece of pollen. 
probably just duplicate that actually. Hitting um, T for, sorry, not T for transform, that is flash. Uh, v for selection tool, and then just rotating them so that they look a bit different. If I just quickly zoom out, I'm sure there's some more that I can do with this. I can make them a bit smaller, perhaps one a bit closer. Perhaps some, some coming out like this, so we know that it's uh, actually leaving the plant. Like so. Okay. And I'm just going to grab all of those and group them with Control G and call that uh, pollen. Make and call this one leaf. Oh, sorry, petal, not leaf. Petal left. Petal right. Um, and now we need to do a bit of shading on this bug and the two antennas. So let's do the shading first. Basically, I just want the back end of this bud, like perhaps so, to uh, just be a touch darker. So I'm just going to, these bits aren't going to be seen, so it doesn't matter. Now this is an interesting technique. Um, I'm going to copy the shape from underneath. Control Shift V to paste it on top of my um, rough shape here. So now I've got one bud on top with the rough shape underneath and the original bud underneath that. Okay, I'm going to select both of these shapes and I'm going to choose Pathfinder Intersect. And what that will do is cut everything away apart from the points where that shape was intersecting. Then if I push that down to where I want it and choose just a slightly darker yellow, I don't think I have one, um, so I'll probably just create one quickly. Uh, touch darker and touch more orange. You'll notice that it looks like it's inside of that position, which is great. So back to the stroke tool as opposed to the fill then. Let's pop no fill on, choose stroke and choose uh, a color for ourselves, probably this one. And we're just gonna preempt where this line would start. So probably somewhere down here, bringing that curve out to here, holding alt and finishing off the line. Now that um, looks a bit squished because if you see our handle comes out way farther than it needs to, just need to bring that back up to fix it. Um, we'll thicken these up a bit by maybe, it's about five, five or six, that looks good. And then we'll have some very bright circles on the end for antenna. So you see here that I've made a, an error. Um, this stroke is supposed to be a fill. I don't want this stroke to be on the end, I want the fill. So that's nice and easy to fix. You can just swap down here and it immediately swaps whatever properties you have from stroke to fill, which is useful to know. And we'll just pop that on the end of there for us. Okay, that's fine. We'll group this and holding alt, we'll drag it to duplicate. And I'll just reposition that, maybe make it a touch smaller. Um, and twist so it's in a rough position. Okay, now that doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Um, the one thing is I probably want this um, uh, stem here to have actually a bit of variation on it, but I can't do the same thing I did with this bud because it's a stroke. So um, what is very useful here is if you're happy with the shape of this, absolutely, you can right click and choose um, convert stroke to uh, fill. Um, now, it may not actually be in the right-click menu, um, but what you can do is go to Object, Path, Outline, Stroke. Okay, I thought it was in right-click, it may not be. And what that's done is it's just taken our stroke, but you can see now it's converted it to a fill to the exact shape of what the stroke was. Meaning, that if I double-click inside this, I can hold Alt and Shift to move it, okay, about roughly halfway. I'll copy the original, paste it in place with Control Shift V so it's on top. Yep. And then choose this one and this one and choose intersect. And that gives us that shape, which is the where the two overlap. Push it back down under the leaves until we get right to the bottom. There we go. And just give it a slightly, uh, give this one, the original one, a slightly darker green. Okay. Um, I think I did that accidentally with a stroke. Is that correct? Let's see what I did there. 
yes, I accidentally gave it a stroke. So we will cancel that stroke, make sure we have fill selected on the front and then give that the slightly darker green. Okay, there we go. That's fixed that. Now uh, that might be a bit too much to be honest. Um, so maybe we'll pick a color. So we'll just lighten it up a bit. Um, I'm picking original. There we go. That's probably good. Now the, this bit's just bugging me a touch. So I'm going to select all of this holding shift to deselect the stalk there and group it. Okay. Uh, and then I'm just going to rotate so that that is aligned like so. Okay, perfect. We have our flower. Let's drop out of there. We know that our flower is good. So we'll collapse that and we'll bring everything back in and see how that looks. Okay. Perfect. Not looking too bad. I'm actually quite a fan of these bold colors. I thought I was going to go quite um, subdued on this, but I'm not sure I will now. Okay, great. Um, that'll do for this time. <laughs> uh, now that we've done all the drawing, we will do a gradient next time around, I promise. Um, I don't want these videos to get too long because people don't tend to watch them if they're more than about 15 minutes or so. Um, so stick with me and I promise we'll do a gradient next time. And if you're lucky, <laughs> we may even get on to applying effects. Uh, the last thing we have to do is gradient these so they look nice. Uh, apply some effects to the grass and trees so that they look um, a bit more blurry. Uh, and then the finally do the lettering up here. So thanks very much for watching everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, again, leave a comment below or join the Discord server, which is also in the description and let me know any thoughts on how to improve. Um, and I'll see you all next time for part four. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thanks for watching.